Yo, this is Impartial Theorist. Today we are here with Elliot. To uh, Elliot has been on our show once before. The now infamous Impartial Elliot episode. Um, Long waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating this cake, man. Shoot. Thank yeah, you. so. You guys recording? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Well, hello, audience. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So Elliot is bringing us some, well, showing oh, us what shit. he's been working on. Lee don't know this dude. <laughs> Lee's over here catching up on the latest Logan Paul tweets. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I um. Literally every all the people I went to school with on Twitter are actively like disowning this dude. <laughs> this this was freshman year. He posted this tweet with this dude called Zayed. He's, and it's just a racist look. <laughs> it's a racist ass tweet. He yeah. said, my roommate is Muslim and it's almost 9 11. However, however, we are celebrating peace here, not war. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <Wow. laughs> Lino said, Lino was basically just vouching for the Muslim guy. Too. Sounds like the kind of people I make fun of in my comics. <laughs> yeah, so about that. Yeah. If we can uh, hold off on the Logan Paul tweets for the next 10 minutes here. How can we? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Why don't you break it down? So you're working on a comic strip. Yeah, it's gonna be a web comic on Instagram under the t the um, handle or label of Abnormal Features. Um, and I am getting analytical support through um, another young professional who heads Transcend Studios. And I also work with a guy called Nathan Kroll. Um, he's, he's a really talented comic book artist. He's kind of branching out into storyboarding. And we're building up to making an animation, but we want to start getting a following. And uh, that's why I'm making this line of comics. What are the comics about? Um, there's a main story, and then there's just, like, funny, really loose one-offs. Yeah, I think um, you showed me a There's couple. different artists. I, I shared, um, one of the teasers with you guys, Brotatoes. Um, <laughs> me and, uh, the guy at Transcend, Oscar, um, we have been discussing whether we want to cater to college boys or uh or like women in their 20s college women it seems sexist to not call them college women because <laughs> that's what women do in their 20s um yeah. and oh shit can i share this with gmail through facebook i don't know if you just hit share. So you're split between college boys and college women, huh? Yeah, in terms of audience, like... <laughs> why do... <laughs> why? Why, do you, um, why does there have to be the gender split? Yeah, Money. Are you, are you Money? classifying the boys as frat boys who might be against... And the women as feminists? Because, like, if, what's, what's if the If frat boys have a problem with being portrayed as potatoes and then <laughs> oh, mutilated... Oh, okay. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Tendo. <laughs> Yeah. Um So you I pick can't, you pick the feminist, I guess. I, I do. Yeah. I uh there's there's been a a problem I think in uh people who make comics where they often disregard <laughs> like <laughs> context. Like I try to make something that everybody will universally find funny. Everyone loves to hate on bros. Even bros. Um but basically, you know, there's lots of things that bros say in their language that could also be applied to potatoes so <laughs> what? it's a win-win how much weed did you smoke coming up with this shit I don't ask you the question you know exactly how yeah. much yeah. <laughs> um three ounces yeah but it's grand. it's not uh it's not strictly about potatoes that's only They're just one, one one off yeah. um there's these main characters who are loosely based on um, an old gaming campaign setting from TSR back in, say, the I mean, 80s, early what 90s. What is TSR? TSR was the company that owned Advanced Dungeons & Dragons, which is uh, often considered, like, the second edition. And the, they had a really art-driven 
campaign setting called Planescape. It also became a PC game called Planescape Torment. And it was very distinct and set apart from how it how it looked compared to the rest of the D and D universe. It was, you know, mainstream D and D is very Tolkien esque, and Planescape was very distinct and specific. I would compare it to something like Discworld, or uh, the movie Mirror World is really reminiscent of the look of Planescape. Or Mirror Mask, excuse me, not Mirror World. Um, and it's just like a crazy multiverse of like fantasy meets science. Uh, and I have like a character who's based on millennials and, you know, uh, young people today and how they struggle to find meaning. And he's sort of uh, a character you love to hate. And he's counterbalanced by his sidekick, who is like a sentient robot shaped like a cube, who sounds like Joe Pesci. <laughs> and he's uh, like a conspiracy theorist conservative. Like he has crazy politics. Like he doesn't make direct references to conservative party. I guess he's more of a libertarian, like a crazy libertarian <laughs> or a sane conservative. <laughs> They're kind of the same thing. And uh, yeah, it's just making fun of misinformation, stupid trends, digital media, um, the works of, you know, stuff that makes a good cartoon. Yeah, so what, uh, what's the plan once you get it some... Um, I'm going to work up to 100,000 followers, and... So, oh yeah, but you didn't, I don't think you touched on that with doing Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Yeah, and then there will be a, a parent site that can be relayed to from Instagram. What about Tumblr? Well, that's who that too left wing for you? Uh, it's a little left. It's a little left. <laughs> <laughs> just want to be Instagram's in the middle. Yeah. You know, no like, like 4chan. You don't want to go for 4chan. Tumblr's too. But you said you have There's nothing wrong feminist. with Tumblr. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Tumblr's the home yeah. of feminists, and 4chan is the home of like just dudes. Really? <laughs> well, Instagram sounds... I think Instagram is gender neutral. Yeah, yeah. 4chan is... And gender's over. Republican so. dudes or trolls that support the Republicans as a joke. Yeah. On Instagram? On, on 4chan. Oh. <laughs> if that was Instagram... Supporting Instagram Republicans is no joke. No, it's, um, it's, 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 voting for Donald Trump was a joke for many people. You think, you think yeah. uh, the gun laws leave us vulnerable supporting Republicans? Mm, I don't know. Yeah. I, I I don't like guns. What do you I don't like guns? So, what do yeah. guns ever do to you? Like why why does a dumbass that live why does a dumbass that live next next door to me need to have a gun? Like I don't. Who are you gonna shoot? Donald Trump. Nah, they probably support <laughs> Donald Trump. Oh, this is still Wisconsin though. You gotta remember that. <laughs> like I was I was thought hypothetically who could he shoot? Like uh, my vote would be. Uh, can I say that? Is that isn't there a con an, an amendment? No, nobody gives a fuck. Well, no, I mean, I think yeah, fortune and like what R slash poll or slash the Donald is that yeah. what it was like the Donald. Did any like everybody was stoked because yeah, he was just like yeah, because it was a joke. Yeah, they were like we elected a meme. Yeah, <laughs> he elected a meme. Yeah, yeah. that's that's like the he's, like he's great <laughs> like a fortune for, yeah. <laughs> for my comic. I and like I kind of get it because well, and like at a point, uh, what's the frog's name? Pepe. Uh, Pepe. Yeah. yeah, like a Pepe and yeah, Donald they, Trump yeah, kind of just became one. Yeah, they like, literally, literally <laughs> was a meme with just Trump murk. with like green skin and orange hair and shit. Like Pepe has Trump basically. Yeah, I'm gonna have um, a comic where he's a Cheeto. Trump. Yeah. I well, he's a cheese puff. He actually only says he's a Cheeto. He's actually a, a white puff. dog turd. You know, when like a dog turd <laughs> when is on the ground. Really old so dog turd. But he sprays himself orange and he has like a cheese whiz hair. And he wears the suit and he addresses like the other food in the fridge. But he's junk food. He's not even supposed to be in the fridge. He's not even real food. And he's just a dog he's turd just... dressed as a Cheeto. That's actually a pretty good start. I think yeah. we got something there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trademarked. I'll sue you. Internet. But, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I think that'll be really popular. I also have a, 
an elephant character called Donald Trunk. He's more part of the main story and less part of the the one-offs. But uh, it's a lot of political satire. Definitely, he's more of um, a city-state, sti- like councilman, than like a, a sole president. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be up next week. Abnormal features on Instagram. It's gonna be awesome. Contracts all written up. Just gotta. Is the Instagram account made yet? Can people um, go follow it now? Or? No, not yet. No. But you'll be the first to know, and we can put it on your YouTube channel. Sweet. Yeah. Exclusive. And then something studios, or yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, headed by Shia Fisher, is going to help me promote a GoFundMe campaign for it because shit ain't free. <laughs> So, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We. I know that. Send me money too. This Don't isn't send free me either. More money. <laughs> Shit, let's move on to the next. <laughs> YouTube's. Well, yeah. No. Great. So, I mean, I think that actually kind of transitions well into, uh, nah. you know, the it, it, Trump. It, it, Oh, he actually does shit. Yeah, the Trump ban is because I mean, yeah, Trump's presidency is a joke. I mean, I think yeah. uh, Bannon's comments that have come out in. Uh, do you have it? Yeah, what is I the already book? have that shit. Oh shit! Too, well, go ahead. Shit, I do this shit. <laughs> do some talking. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna skip the whole treason shit because I don't care about that, Loki. Do you? <laughs> I don't think you happen. did. It probably will, but honestly, fuck it. The shit that interests me is that. Is, the, is Donald Trump's transformation when he won? Like, I'm going to read this paragraph. And this paragraph is fucking... This is, like, my favorite thing. It's just shortly after 8 p.m. on election night, when the when Donald Trump won, or seemed like he might win, um, Don Jr. told his friend that that Trump looked as if he had seen a ghost. And Melania started crying. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> bawling fucking crying. Yeah. <laughs> and then, in, in about an hour, like, um, Steve, Steve Bannon was... was Steve Steve Bannon said he saw Trump morphing from his belief to horrified. And then <laughs> then he became the Donald Trump who believed that he deserved to win and he actually could actually be president in like the space of a fucking hour. Like, and then and then we saw that speech. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I remember seeing that because it was like that moment. Uh yeah, his the election speech. Um it was just like, I don't know, he said some stuff about unity. It seemed like it was actually kind of normal. Like, yeah, because he thought he could. Yeah, like, <laughs> he, thought, he thought he was, he thought he was yeah. that dude. Like, yeah. he's fucking Obama or some yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you don't believe in Obama's politics, the man is charismatic as fuck. Yeah. And Trump Trump must have believed that he was that charismatic too. I am. Uh, even though Floki for China helped him win an election. I can stand all that war on Christmas crap. Yo, that's just so that, stupid. I'm Jewish, <laughs> and that so upset stupid. me. Like, I had no horse in that race. But no, like, was there? There was never fucking war on Christmas. There was never. They, I a think war they're confusing Christmas. bringing Christmas to school with fucking the country you know celebrating Christmas. Like, yeah. you know, well, and just saying happy holidays is not like a, it's just a convenient honestly, thing to honestly, say because there's a bunch of holidays I, right I there I, so don't, just I don't get why people are making it a big deal because Muslims don't mind saying Merry Christmas I don't think anybody Isn't does I think Christmas? I think yeah. just people honestly people it's start saying happy kinda, holidays not, yeah. because it's just easier because there's even like tweets of I think Trump himself yeah, and see, happy holidays, Ivanka yeah. like saying yeah happy holidays yeah. it's just like it's an easier thing to say like yeah, it's just a, a, a little win su- why don't people <laughs> want the president to be obligated to like say happy Hanukkah and Kwanzaa to like You're Christmas to. only applies Obama to did, Obama even did that shit for Chinese New Year yeah like, who gives, like, like he, and also like hard. I hate how big of a deal it is. Like, there's so many bigger issues than how the president greets us on the holidays. And, like, people are losing their shit over the internet when, like, we're in the throes of nuclear, like, yeah, potential nobody's nuclear thinking about war. That shit. Nobody cares and, about like, that shit anymore. There's, like, people rotting in Guantanamo Bay and, and, and who are innocent and just, like... What are we talking about? There's so shit. much fucking talk. They're still talking about the war on Christmas. I think that the White House, they just want to produce memes. And nah, that's like, it's 4chan that's making those memes. It's yeah. all, they're all connected, man. You know how yeah. like 4chan works for the government? 
<laughs> no. I don't Deep do that. That's, that's the old thing, dude. You're kind of against... They, they own everything, man. Just don't check your facts. Just keep yeah. putting it out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, so there's a few more Bannon uh, comments that have worked their way out there. Um, you want me to just list some of them? Well, yeah, if you can come up with another one here, yeah. I can open these up. But, um, I mean, basically, I think it doesn't even need to be said at this point, but it's like... What you thought was happening, what everybody thought was happening. What's fucking and, happening? Yeah. <laughs> like, like this, this one says Trump was angry at his inauguration because not enough, basically no A-list stars came and he had to get fucking, what's the name of the guy from Karate Kid, the shitty one? Um, oh, fuck. Wasn't that Will Smith's kid? No, 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 no. <laughs> not the shitty. <laughs> not the I'm remake. talking about those, those two of them. Those, those I know were, what you're talking about. Yeah, he's like an old actor that was like on a TV kid. show or something. Uh, the guy who played Danny Russo. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, the, 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 no, he got Scott Bale. I don't think Scott Bale was even a kid. Oh, okay. Kid. He got Scott Bale to come to that shit, which is like this, sh- like he's just he's just shitty celebrity to get. Like this is not 1995, and even then he would have been a shitty celebrity to get. So like. It's like having Kid Rock. At your... Nah, it kind of it appeals to his fan base. Is yeah. The but, interesting thing about it though is like I heard on Breitbart a lot of people are like throwing Steve Bannon under yeah, the bus. Yeah, because which... they they rock with <laughs> Breitbart did such a good job that now they rock with Trump more than they rock with <laughs> fucking Bannon. But that's like what Bannon did for Breitbart, yeah. and, <laughs> and they're so about to kick like Bannon off the Breitbart like board. Wow. <laughs> Even though Loki he made that shit like he he, he put you in the car <laughs> that you could kick him off that fucking board. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's just gonna. What get is more. Bright Bar? <laughs> Not everyone I think knows what Bright Bar is. Nah, people who need to know their core audience like all right, all I of don't them, know what they, Bright Bar is. It's uh, you know, just like right, a right leaning. Yeah. It's all right, like, straight yeah, up. All right. Yeah, that's what Bannon News and fucking website. Jack Posobiec and like. It's the Alex, the Alex Jones kind of yeah, crowd, like but not as crazy as Alex Jones crowd. A little bit better, but yeah. still crazy. Not as many fuck. conspiracy theory or just like yeah, straight but, wacky shit. Yeah. But, um, but no, I mean, also what's crazy too is like, so Trump, so there's this author, like putting out this book, what's his name? Uh, <coughs> Wolf, what the fuck, where'd it go? Oh, Michael Wolf. He's an author. He's writing this book, Fire and Fury, about uh, basically yeah the Trump White House mm-hmm. and through the election. Oh, we didn't even and after, that. but uh, yeah. So these he interviewed all these people in the White House and like that's where all these comments from Steve Bannon are coming from. And so now Trump put out cease and desist orders. Uh, I think to Bannon and also and the book publisher and yeah the book author but they Michael just Wolf pushed put, the book forward they're yeah they're just gonna release the book earlier now the so. that's, that's the best endorsement Trump doesn't like it every fucking liberal is gonna buy that shit <laughs> yo just well, to yeah, piss him off I mean I think it's just like the drama that everybody saw playing out like silently is like now it's just officially becoming like official history it's like <laughs> the trump year is the chaos the like oh, yeah. insanity of a man who just trolled yeah, his way into the presidency <laughs> like how 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 i still don't get how they allowed the person the the writer to just interview a bunch of people in the white house and they told him the truth or if they're lying this these are bad lies because this is still fucked up like you could have cleaned that shit up so I'm assuming it's the truth. Yeah, no, I think it's the truth. I don't. I think it's just one of. The, it does seem crazy because it's like, yeah, you'd think. And Bannon gave. Himself Bannon probably out. just knew it wasn't gonna. <laughs> he he knew that shit was going down down yeah. the, down the tunnel because he gave himself out like a while ago, like like more than six months ago. He already said this shit, knowing this shit was gonna come out eventually. Mm-hmm. So he already planned on getting the fuck out of there, and <laughs> and, and um, shit. <clears throat> Nixon, Nixon like lied all the time. Yeah, but Nixon didn't have Twitter and fucking fandoms to to cover his ass. That's true. Yeah, and he had Fox News. And was an- another thing is so it's really the internet's like, fault. Yeah, it's it's the world right now. Like they're interconnected because anybody can be part of any dumbass group they want to be part of. Yeah, and you can get your your feelings thrown back at you, like your ideas just bounce back. ISIS has a Facebook. Yeah, thing. and it's pretty popular too. Mm. Oh shit. <laughs> shit. Really? Yeah. Let's join. You can swing for watch the videos, man. <laughs> and the, the, the last thing I want to talk about is they really didn't think they were going to win because Flynn accepted when he took the money from the Russians. 
like he 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 was he was asked he they asked him if he's gonna they, like talk to fbi and shit about it and he said it's not going to be a problem unless we win yeah and they fucking won <laughs> and yo it's so funny like, like if they didn't win none saying, of this shit like, would be like it would have been easier for them that's why fucking um like paul manafort like he probably wouldn't be like we were talking about this like a couple of weeks ago it's like yeah had he not gone on the trump campaign like yeah, all this like, stuff he did he could still be doing but, that spy shit yeah <laughs> <laughs> he look he real life spy shit why do you need eight passports <laughs> Yeah, and and Bannon also talked about the Deutsche Bank, which the FBI just kind of they just um, subpoenaed. So shit, <laughs> they, they they just got a lot closer to to them. He said they they do a lot of this. They, this whole thing is because of money laundering. Like the whole reason for the election for the campaign was money laundering, and they plan to lose. Like uh, if they just they should. And then Trump's lost. ego just like drove it over yeah. the edge. <laughs> Like so he should have been laying low, <laughs> like knowing that all these boys, like nah, they won't figure this shit out. Even though this shit is obvious, you literally let a writer come in and hear all these fucking secrets that we like. Look, we just found about Deutsche Bank like a couple of weeks ago, and the, this writer already knew all that shit. Yeah, that's so, crazy. Well, let's let's move on to the next shit, which is surprisingly to do with marijuana. And yeah, Jeff Sessions yeah. wanted to end. Yeah, so surprising because, yeah. well, yeah, it's it it is surprising in one way because it's like wow we're in 2018 like almost half the states or well half the states have uh, either legal yeah, or medical or something 29 yeah, yeah so more than half um, and, and also now, DC which yeah. I don't think is a state. No, it's yeah. a, so it's taking, just the District of Columbia. Yeah. That's all it is, I guess. But um, <laughs> if you give us get weed in fucking DC, which is probably stupid expensive because it's DC, but yeah, yeah. Well, you could get weed in DC, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. no, I mean like legal, <laughs> it's like yeah, criminalized yeah, it's kind of legal. in Monona. Yeah, yeah, but and you can get it medicinally in Illinois pretty yeah. easily, an ounce per dis- per dispensary with prescription. You need like probably good insurance. But. Yeah, no, I mean that's what I'm saying. It's it's like a, an established infrastructure and economy in mm-hmm. 29 states, and you already had a former president, administration, Department of Justice saying, "Oh, we're gonna let states take take the lead on this one and do what they want to do." And now, like, what five six years later, like you have the government saying, "Oh." Actually, no. Sessions, not, yeah, it's just Jeff I don't Sessions. Think Trump has it's like Jeff to Sessions' this. personal beef yeah. with it. Like, yeah. I don't know. I think a marijuana joint killed his mom or something. <laughs> <coughs> Someone just tell him that white people smoke weed too. <laughs> <laughs> this is not just black people now. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. The marijuana joint killed his mother. Yeah, or maybe it was the. Black I'm just saying. So, yeah, man. Maybe the reefer madness overtook her, and she saw her son for what he was, and she killed herself. Like, <laughs> I think she was smoking crack. <laughs> that's, that's not but it had to, but it, we're on to something here because I mean one of these stories has to be right or maybe if it's even crazier than that because that, that dude's personal hatred for marijuana is on like, like like yeah it's not <laughs> he hasn't smoked marijuana or like so Nixon made marijuana such a hot item and heroin because he wanted heroin's... to uh, oppress minorities yeah. and countercultural groups. And Jeff Sessions is such an old, like, saggy fuck he still that, that he shit. probably just thinks that he'll achieve the same thing by having this attitude towards mar- marijuana because, I don't know, he was a desk clerk in the Nixon era or some shit. And <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm going to push the conservative agenda using tactics from the 60s. That isn't so. even a conservative agenda anymore. <clears throat> it's not. It's just more outdated shit that... Yeah. Um, like, because their supporters will just eat whatever dribble comes out of their mouth. Nah, but, and, but and more than half of Republicans say yes. Like, slightly more than half of Republicans say they're cool with marijuana, and 60-something percent of, of Democrats say they are. So the majority of the country already says yes. Yeah. So it's not it's not. And that's for, like, recreational legalization, yeah. I think. Yeah. So if you were doing, like, medical or yeah, that's, that's, like, criminalization, just like it'd be a lot higher. Trump is universally nah, really unpopular. Trump... Trump, Trump I, one of Trump's campaign shit was that he wasn't gonna mess with marijuana, 
because nobody wanted him. That was not one of the things they cared about. Mm-hmm. Like he, they made him promise. Like he, he, he did an interview where he promised he wasn't gonna do shit about it. Yeah, but and, I don't know. I'm not really gonna let Trump up on this one because like he fucking appointed Jeff Sessions, and yeah. also he's mm-hmm. the one that. Like he's not doing anything about it now. He could yeah, tell him not you, to do it. You like, know, you know, most people he hired were recommended to him by other Republicans, right? Oh, I'm sure. Like, I'm sure he wasn't just pals with Jeff Sessions yeah. like what, before he came president. I mean, maybe, but like, no. Nah, and he's kind of pissed at Sessions for accusing himself still. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but I still think he could step in and be. A, yeah, he could, but then he he kind of needs distractions right now. <coughs> like he could stop any of this shit that's happening, but he kind of needs it to happen. Well, okay. My take on it is like I'm. This is like Mayweather and McGregor. <laughs> like I just want to see this battle go down. Like, cause so many states, several states have like already like I think Colorado, California, like their uh, yeah, attorney generals are like, yeah. oh, we're gonna fight this. There's like a 12 year old girl who yeah. uses uh, medical marijuana for seizures, taking a lawsuit. I think with the DEA, like. He's I'm lose. ready to see this battle go down. Like, I just want to see Sessions lose hard, and I know <laughs> it's going to happen because he doesn't have a stand a chance on this. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> as, as sad as it is to see, like, it's actually a little bit exciting because, like, I feel like he's just going to get, like, rolled up into it, blunt himself and smoke <laughs> on this one. So, Jeff Sessions. I'll be, I'll be watching smoking a blunt. Well. The next thing, shit, surprisingly enough, is... Why well, I keep saying surprise? It's not fucking surprising. I'm um, surprised. <laughs> some, some, one of our viewers asked us to talk about memes making Marxists. It, that's a... <laughs> yeah. but I'm pretty sure oppression makes Marxists, but <laughs> not, not memes. But we can... Well, uh, everyone 20, needs 20, a scapegoat, I guess. 2018, shit is different, but... <laughs> talking about how kids on the internet who who are left leaning have started taking to memes to express themselves because it's easier to write a fucking essay or a fucking like op ed or some shit. It just takes five minutes and it goes further on yeah. the internet. It and, also breeds narcissism. But. Yeah. Because it's just bouncing shit back between your peers. But. Yeah. But they, they didn't mention the right, like the 4chan. They basically mentioned like the. The left, the, the leftist, like part of this equation, they didn't, they didn't even mention the whole other side, which I think is kind of more powerful. Well, yeah, let me just throw this out here. So, this is broadly, this is the link she gave us, which is like a this subsidiary of Vice or something. Yeah. It's this article about this guy who's a journalist and also, yeah, just talks about how he's studying to be a journalist. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, and he's, he's pretty good at making memes and shit, so. Oh well, yeah, I guess um, that's news these days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I could actually get you a job, man. A bunch of jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Making yeah. memes. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I'll do it. <laughs> you can become yeah. like the Wendy's the person that runs the Wendy's Twitter. But no, I think that's like what this is missing here. It's not like this isn't doesn't just apply to like people on the left. I think everybody is making memes. Well, everybody is making memes, but I think also everybody wants to claim memes. It's like. I feel like people yes. on the right want to be like, oh, people on the left can't. Literally, memes. everybody people uses memes. Them. Yeah. Yeah, like your grandma has seen some memes and laughed. Like, it's not even a big deal anymore. Yeah. It's not 2003. But. Well, I mean, we had a, a few episodes ago. We had the Osama bin Laden <laughs> meme stash down here. Remember oh. That? <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm just saying, it's yeah. everyone, man. Yeah. There's like, no one's. Yeah. That's but, the last person you'd think of, right? Like, yeah, but. I, I, Bashar I al-Assad and. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to criticize um, the persons that the article is making it seem that that the left are only people who meme because basically 4chan got kind of helped get Trump elected, and I think no the Russian hackers yeah yeah they, but also a lot of 4chan they hacked 4chan <laughs> by that I mean they, they made accounts and got 4chan people to become to to want to elect Trump as a joke. Yeah, cause that's that's that would be like that would be harder than just trying to convert them into Trump supporters. <laughs> yeah, ironic Trump yeah. supporters. <laughs> like, America was just doomed to be a joke. We didn't make Obama a yeah. permanent president. <laughs> I don't think Obama should have. He, he, he wasn't. It's nah, not that he was, he was like on. He was still a vi- Like he still promoted violence in the Middle East and anti-immigration. Yeah. But like he did it 
in a way that didn't make people feel like the apocalypse was around the corner. Yeah. And he, he had charisma. That was his he main... had integrity. Yeah. Like he didn't he couldn't be provoked by Kim Jong un. He didn't get into power struggles with people. Uh, he, he was he, chill. Not not always. Like he had Trump little subtle has things zero that he chill. did. Like he, he he would he would he had different handshakes for black people, white people. Sometimes you skip over people and, and he used to give side eyes and shit. Like he was kinda sassy. Yeah, he was a sassy, <laughs> yeah. beautiful black man. But he was sassy in a way that couldn't get him into trouble because white people didn't notice. He was very tongue in cheek. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. He, uh, but he, he, I think he would have hated being president for. I think he kind of didn't even want to be president for the second he, like, half. He only had one sex scandal. <laughs> he had a CD <laughs> Like, Trump gets accused of one like every yeah. day. Did Obama actually have a sex scandal? I think the biggest, like, the real biggest one was him smoking cigarettes in the back of the White House. Obama? Yeah, yeah that was his thing. Yeah. Do you remember, like, when he was in his first election, there was, that like, some sounds guy... sounds like it looks really cool. That, like, went on the news and was, like, was like, leaning against the wall in the back of the White House. He, he, he like, sneaks out yeah. to the smokes. You, you didn't know about that? <laughs> What's his brand? <laughs> I don't know. Probably lights or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he wouldn't want to smell well, As long him. as it wasn't menthols. <laughs> shit, he is black. It could have been newborn menthols. <laughs> Shit, I can say He's that. He's Kenyan. Yeah, and I'm African, and I spoke. Oh, I'm shit. Kenyan, and I spoke Nipo Metos. <laughs> it's kind of all black people. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you remember this guy? The I guess Larry Sinclair. Was yeah, he? that's who I'm talking about. He was the one guy, just him. He, he said he sucked Obama's yeah, dick. Yeah, he said he sucked, sucked Obama's dick for yeah. crack, like, during the election. He like, should be so lucky. Wow. <laughs> you don't even want to suck that dude's dick. He could Obama? literally be found, yeah. He, like, dude, anybody. all right, I'm a star fucker. I, <laughs> he could have gone into any, like, people would have kept quiet about it. I wouldn't have needed crack to do it. Like, dude, <laughs> yeah. sucked Obama's dick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm Why like, do you have to justify it with crack? Well, you know, like... You just saw. I Obama. think that's where where why like people just didn't even believe it. Yeah, it was like, for yeah. It's like kissing the Pope's ring, you know. Obama comes you around do like, that "Sir, do you want your dick sucked?" <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was pretty thoroughly discredited. Though I don't think anybody really, like, I, Larry Sinclair, I think was the only person that really like ever wanted to hear that, and everybody was just like, "Shut the fuck up." I <laughs> am a victim. It just sounds like the meandering ramblings. Hey, he wasn't even like hot. He was just this, like, middle-aged, <laughs> his voice was unattractive, he was unattractive, he dressed like Ernest goes to the beach, and like, yeah, bring him up, if we could bring up his whole little, he's all like, I sucked mad Obama cock, and I did it for crack, yeah. and I freely admit this, because... Why, why does he sound like he's from New, New Jersey and I someone's think, grandma? I believe that it, that's how I remember him sounding. Like a New Jersey grandma. Yep. Like Italian grandma specifically. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Who would it, it most memory serves. support. Okay. Gay sex, cocaine, Obama, hashtag. <laughs> Let me see this dude. Is it a white dude? Obama, yeah. gay sex, uh, cocaine. Here, I think this is probably the best picture. It's like. Oh, I guess he was I handsome guess. when he was just supposed to prostitute. Fucking Obama for the president dick. administration. Yeah, <laughs> Emily, it's wow. not even the worst thing a president has done. Uh, which he probably didn't even do. Yeah. I don't know uh, why he needs a male pros- prostitute. Why like, he needs a pro- he can lit- if he wants to fuck a dude he can find he needs to go to if he goes to Brooklyn he can fuck anything he wants to fuck. Yeah, I mean, supposedly this was when he was a senator, so oh. a state senator, I think. So it was like in Chicago or something. You know, he know. he was probably just with some other senators, and they pressured him into it. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> are you are you comparing like the the Chicago Senate to a frat? Babiglia, hell yeah! You kidding me? They openly like ask for bribes on the internet, like, or was that a governor? Babiglia, the guy who got caught for like blatantly soliciting bribes. Oh no, that was uh, Rod Blagojevich. Bagloy, Bagloyevich. <laughs> Bl- 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 say that five times fast. <laughs> Stephen Colbert said he looks like one of the big boy statues, the hamburger uh, mascots. It. His hair specifically. Do you want to say anything else on the? Me on the like right wing memes thing because there were two more articles that we didn't oh, shit. talk yeah. about, but 4chan yeah. and and 
basically an article Where's confirming that? what I said that the right wing memes. Oh yeah, here's the, the picture popular. I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Pepe. Pepe Trump. Is Pepe a white supremacist? Yeah, icon? they made they made him. Well, he wasn't. So they yeah, made him, and then they killed but him. But still, people post Pepe memes that like. They either have no idea, like, what Pepe became. Because I still yeah. see once in a while somebody will post a Pepe and it's like, oh, you don't do uh, you know. I, I, like, yeah, everybody knows. Does no, I don't think so. Because the people that do it, like, they... Like, how how don't you know? Literally, this is the internet. But, like, do everybody... they use Pepe to make fun of white supremacists? Or are they white supremacists? Yeah, They're for white supremacists? It's one of... No, Pe- Pepe is for white supremacists. They took him... They, the creator of Pepe had to kill him. Like, they killed the character off the <laughs> Like it's a French dude that he had to he had to kill his his fucking like he series. went like out of his way. Yeah. To, no, like... he didn't have a fucking choice. Like yeah. fucking this think think about it in this point of view. These shitty ass racist Americans have stolen my creation. Yeah, and I'm about to stop making money off this shit because of you racist motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Like that, that sucks. Just, yeah, and that just makes France hate America even more. Well, America kind of hates France a little bit too. Yeah, surrendered them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, there, look they're surrendering to the Nazis again. You guys oh, they're mad even, at you us. You guys weren't even in the fucking war. Loki, you came in at the end like you did some shit. You didn't do shit. America? Yeah, no. Like, Britain, got, Britain was getting bomb, bombed every fucking day. Like, all the kids had to move to the countryside. Well, who and who builds a huge hill? city on an island? That's just asking to... You, nah, you, you just because you guys are so you guys are so far away that nothing really could have happened to you, and then shit started happening to you, and you didn't have a fuck like you were forced into this war, which is ironic because America always want to fight. Yeah, they do. Oh, that was before. Well, it was, you guys it was always, after yeah. World War One that like I, I think it was like so many people died yeah. so fast. They that, didn't like, want to. I, I yeah. get I get why you guys didn't do it, but like for the rest of the world, things you guys were like fucking bitches. I mean, my family is descended from Russian Jews, so yeah, technically so you, we you were did, yeah, you guys. we were fighting them. Yeah. Thanks, Putin. Yeah, I, would well, I mean say, the Russians killed the most Nazis. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'd oh, yeah. say Russia did more. Germany didn't know what defeat. the fuck it was doing in Stalingrad. Yeah. It was like Vietnam, like except instead of a jungle, it was this yeah, the frozen, winter yeah, wasteland. They were, just, they were freezing up, <laughs> and then the Russians would would, would and suck like the pop bodies out. Another of another advantage Russia had was that their tanks were cheaper to produce. Like you could take the tracks, the tire part off of the tank, and the tank would still go. And if a German tank broke. You'd have to yeah, send it back to the V and W tank dealership yeah. and get a custom part, and it was just like expensive and complicated, and like they just wanted to look cool. Yeah. Shit, have you heard of ladders? The cars? Mm-mm. They're literally like the some of the shittiest fucking cars, but they like they won't break down. Mm-hmm. You you can't make that shit break down. It's a Russian car. It That's will break true. down, but you can fix it with sticks. Like if you have a laundry machine from the seventies, it probably still works, yeah. and you've never had to repair it. Unlike stuff now that just, it's, it's made to break it's at a certain time. Yeah. Like, that's terrible. Well, shit. Yeah, I think we should wrap it up because yeah. uh, I've got to go get Isaiah off the bus. But <clears throat> this has been The Impartial Theorist. Uh, thanks, Elliot, for coming on again. You're so welcome. Um, yeah, see y'all next week.